Hello. Today we're going to be launching a Kubernetes cluster using Nutanix Calm. So Nutanix Calm comes preceded with over 25 different application blueprints uh, right when you enable it. Here we see the Kubernetes 2.00 blueprint. Uh, we see some basic information about it down here. And we're going to go ahead and hit launch. Select the project that we want to launch this onto. Now we do have to have this project and its corresponding environment uh, defined before we launch this way. We have another video walking you through that if you haven't set that up already. So here we have to name uh, the application. This does need to be unique. Down here we see the various clouds we can deploy onto. We're just going to be deploying this onto Nutanix AHV today. Next we see some fields we'll need to fill out. So the first several, uh, we can just leave as a default. Uh, you're welcome to change them if you'd like, uh, but we're just going to leave them as default for the demo today. The first thing that you definitely will have to change is this uh, Prism Element cluster IP. So over here, I have the Prism Element that I am deploying onto, and we're going to grab some information here. Uh, first off, the cluster virtual IP address. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Next, we need the data services IP. So the, the reason for this is we, we're going to use this Prism element uh, for persistent storage for the Kubernetes cluster. And we'll, we'll create a volume group and we'll handle all of that for you. So next we need to do the PE username and password so we can get that volume gr group created. And then the next two fields, so PE container name. So this is, can be any container of your choice within Prism element. We're going to have to go here and come to storage. I'm just going to grab this, this default one. Paste that in. Finally, the instance public key. So most likely you defined uh, this public key when you set up your project uh, section. So I'm going to come over here and I have it in my clipboard already. Uh, so we created this in an earlier demo video. So I'm going to grab that public key and paste it in here. And that's all we need to do. The CentOS credentials will be grabbed from the environment that we defined earlier. So as long as that key matches up with the public key we just pasted in, we're good. I'll go ahead and hit Create. And in a moment, it will take us to the application deployment screen. And we can watch it get deployed. We see that it is provisioning. We see all the various variables we, we defined here down at the bottom. Uh, we see the VM summary. This, this will get uh, incremented as we uh, get VMs that are deployed. We can come over here to manage and, and view the create task that's running. So we can see all the different uh, dependencies that are built. On the right side here, we'll see the, the VMs get created and we'll see the package install tasks all get run. So this blueprint takes about 15 or 20 minutes to deploy. Uh, for that reason, I have another one that's already running uh, using the exact same steps here. We see this other k 8 blueprint. So this, this application we see here is running. Uh, we can go here to the services and actually view the, the master nodes. I'm going to click on one of these master nodes and just open up the web SSH terminal. And we'll just view the, the pods that are currently running. Uh, so we'll do a cube CTL, get pods, dash N. Uh, we'll, we're going to specify the, the cube system namespace. And here we, we have all the various uh, pods that are, are running Kubernetes. And there you have it. Thanks for your time today.